Hey everyone, my name is Merrick Palmer. I'm your technical director for the GCBA. So today we're going to go over some home workout ball handling drills that you can do while you're on lockdown for this COVID-19. Please stay safe. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on some ball handling. Uh, we're going to modify some of the drills so it's adaptable from junior NBA level all the way to U19. So stay tuned. Here we go. We're going to get busy. So first thing we want to do is we want to warm up our hands. We want to make sure that our hands are sensitized and lots of blood flowing into the, into the digits. So we want to make sure that we can feel the basketball. So we want to start off with pounding the basketball. Okay. So once we're, our hands are warmed up, we want to be able to make sure that we can maneuver the basketball all from head to toe. So we can start from the toes. Okay. Okay. Nice and low. Going up to the calves, to the knees, to the waist, to the head, and back down, okay? Ball handling, okay? Ball circles, okay? Circling the basketball around your body, okay? Really good for ball handling, stationary. The next thing we want to work on is low dribbling, okay? So fingertip dribble. So you have a nice wide base. Okay, bending your knees, okay, just super low, super low, you want to make sure that your head is up, okay, if you're just beginning and you need to look at the basketball, not a big deal, okay, you want to make sure that your hands are nice and low, okay, if you lose it, you mess up, no big deal, okay, just move it side to side, okay, side to side, do your best to keep the ball, okay, alive, if the ball dies, no problem. You just pick it back up and moving it from side to side. So the next thing you can do is in a small space is sit down dribbling. You don't need a lot of space for this. You can just have a seat, clear your area, make sure everything is safe. Dribbling the basketball, super low. Okay, no problem if you can't dribble it as fast as you can. Okay, okay, just do it at your own speed. Okay, if you have to keep that ball going this. At this speed, no problem. All it is is control, control in the basketball. If you lose it, no big deal. Just bring it back, just continue. Okay, bring it to the other. Same thing. Whatever you do with the left hand, you can do with the right hand and vice versa, okay? Okay, open the feet, okay? You can work on this right in front of you, keeping that ball alive. The key is to keep the ball alive as, you, uh, as, as best as you can. You're going to mess up, okay? Just pitter-patter, okay? Okay? As you get better, the U19s, U18s, U17s, okay? You go as fast as you can. Once you get better at it, you can up the ante, okay? You can put the feet together, okay? You can go like here. You can go under. Keeping the ball alive. If you're junior NBA, you can dribble, okay? You can roll it under, pick it back up, and start your dribble. Okay? No big deal, okay? You just want to make sure that that ball is, is going from side to side, switching hands, okay? Advance. Okay? Okay. Low level, okay? Intermediate, okay? Okay, just keep that ball moving. Okay? Sit down dribbling. So we can start with V dribbles, okay, from side to side. Okay, whatever you do with the left hand, you must do with the right and vice versa, okay? Okay, if you're just starting out, you want to slow it down, okay? It might be a little bit higher, more advanced, you're going to get lower and faster, and eyes are totally up, okay? You're not looking at the basketball at all, okay? So higher levels, you want to push yourself, you want to go as fast as you can, okay? Nice and low. Switch it. Okay, that's V-dribble. The next drill you can do is push-pull, okay? You can go feet together. You're, you're pushing and pulling, okay? So some of the younger kids might have difficulty with this one, so you might just be able to just push it, okay? Pull it, push it, pull it. No problem if you're staring at the basketball. Okay, you want to modify all the drills that we're trying to do today. Okay. okay, you're really good at it. You can spread the feet apart a little bit. Really push that ball. Okay, you don't need long strokes. 
Okay. Okay. Whatever you do with the left hand, you do with the right hand. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. If you're just a beginner. Okay. Push it. Pull it. Push it. Pull it. Next, we can work on the behind the back dribble. So the behind the back dribble is real simple. Okay. What you can do, well, not real simple. If you're advanced, it should be simple. If it's not, really pay attention to the modifications. So we can have our feet more than shoulder width apart. We're going to squat down. So the, the key in what we're trying to do is create a pocket under our butt. Okay. So once we have a pocket under our butt, we can bring the ball under. So this space is really important for, for being able to create a space to pick the ball up. Okay. If you're, if you're not low, okay, and your hips are forward, what you're going to do is end up hitting the basketball off your foot. Okay. So creating a pocket underneath your butt is really, really important. Space out again, butt down. You have that space between your butt and the floor. Boom. Boom. Okay. So more advanced, you're just going here, side to side, side to side. Okay. Okay. As you get better at it, your eyes are up more. Okay. Just behind the back dribbles. Okay. More advanced, you can touch something. Okay. You put a cone in front of you. Put a chair in front of you. If you have a, okay. If you have a, a sibling, you can high fives. Okay. Okay. More advanced, you can do machine gun. Okay. So you can go machine gun. Where that dribble is tapping twice, is, is bouncing twice, okay, like that. Okay, so that's machine gun. So, okay, we call it machine gun because it's a double tap and it's rapid fire, so it sounds like a brrp, so it sounds like a machine gun. So it's quick fire, same thing, so more advanced, machine gun. Okay, junior NBA, you're just trying to pick the basketball up. Just drop it underneath it. Really tough. You try not to want to, you don't want to move your hips forward. Okay. You don't want to move your hips forward. You want to keep that. Okay. Nice sit down dribble. Okay. Both directions. Both directions. Okay. More advanced. So the next drill that we can do is the betweens. So between, when you go between the legs, Okay, just to start off for beginners, you want to go as wide as you can. Okay, you want to drop down, put the back knee down, drop down. Okay, and you just try to put the ball between the legs without falling over. Okay, so you want to try to stay balanced, try to stay balanced, and you're just dropping the basketball and picking it up, dropping. Okay, switch the legs. Okay, just dropping. Easy peasy. Okay, 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 more advanced. You're here. Nice and small. Okay. The ball is at the end of your hands. Okay. It's not rolling up the palms. Okay. It's right on the edge of the fingertips. Okay. Right on the, right on the bottom of the fingertips. Boom. Okay. Bottom of the hand. Okay. Switching. Okay. That's more advanced. Okay. Again, if you want to, if you're really advanced, you can go with the machine gun. Okay. Okay, you're hearing that machine gun sound. Okay, that's between. Okay, so the next one we can do is pound between. So we can pound that basketball, then put it between their legs. Okay, so pound it between, pound between, pound between. So this is a more of an advanced drill. Uh, beginners, you can dribble it, okay, pick it up, put it between, switch the legs, dribble it. Put it between, okay, dribble it, switch the legs, put it between. As you get better, okay, the youngsters, junior NBA and up, you want to make sure that you're controlling the basketball, okay? Okay, controlling the basketball. As you get a little bit better at it, okay, you try to do it, okay, and maybe stop there, you can stop there, okay, as you get better at it, okay, we're switching the legs, okay, we're switching the legs. Again, more advanced, you can pound it, machine gun between, pound, machine gun between, okay? Another one of our favorite drills that we like to do here at Capitol Courts is cross between behind. So we're extending our feet, okay? We're crossing over from left to right or right to left, 
we go between, and then we go behind. And then it starts again. Cross, between, behind. Okay, when we go behind, again, we're always under our butts. We're creating that space, so we got to bend our knees. We're going to go cross, between, behind. Cross, between, behind. Okay, if you're just starting out as a beginner, you can go cross it. You can pick it up with two hands. Between, pick it up with two hands. And the hardest one for you at that age or at the younger ages will be the behind. Okay, so you got to make sure that you squat down. If you don't squat down, you're going to hit your heels. So cross, between, and behind. Okay, those are the three, three, three crossovers that we're going to do simultaneously as you get more advanced. Okay, you're going to try to keep that ball alive. Cross, between, behind. Cross, between, behind. Cross, between, behind. Okay, so more advanced, as you know, we can add the machine gun to it. So we're going to cross in front, cross between, and cross behind. And then it continues again. Cross, between, and then behind. Okay, these are staple drills that you can do at home. If you do these drills, you're going to get way better. Okay, if you have tons of time now that you're, you're on lockdown, you're isolated. Garage, driveway, stay out of the road, don't get hit by a car. So, again, cross between behind, beginner, cross, and behind. Okay, more advanced, cross between behind. Okay, super advanced, machine gun. Okay. Right, that's cross between behind. So the next drill that we want to do is over and back, over a cone, or over over an object that you have at your house. It could be a shoe, it could be a cup, it doesn't matter. You want to go over and back. So the trick to go over and back is not really the wrist, it's more reaching over and using the fingertips to follow the ball down and pull it back over. If you keep a straight hand, you won't have anything to grip onto. So you gotta follow the ball down at its lowest point. And then from its lowest point, you pull the ball back over, okay? Pull the ball back over, pull the ball back over, all right? Whatever you do with the left, you do with the right and vice versa, okay? So this is more of an advanced drill. Youngsters, if you want to modify this, you can dribble here, pick it up, okay? Pick it up here. But if you're a youngster, you can still follow the ball all the way down, okay? Try to pick it up at the lowest point, okay? That would be a, a slight modification to, to make sure that you can adapt it to your skill level. Okay, more advanced. Okay, you can bring the ball all the way down, okay? As you get better, okay, you can go faster and faster and faster. Make sure you're switching hands. Okay, try to keep your eyes up as much as you can, okay? Okay. The more you look up, the better pass you're going to be. Hey guys, this concludes our ball handling workout for today. Stay safe, be strong, practice social distancing, wash your hands so we can get back onto the floor as soon as we can. All right, peace out.